Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBBNet video series on C++ and this video is about writing your own string class. So this is a famous interview question, at least it was asked in interviews when I used to give interviews when I was kind of fresher or one or two years of experience. So yeah, so this is going to be the class and let's look at the driver function. So this is your main function. Let's see what functionality will be including. So uh, we have first like you will just simply create a string without giving any uh, string in that then the length should be zero okay and then we have two string you will concatenate them and the result should get concatenated right and the length and the c st str so this is a standard function so you have to give this i mean if they are asking so you should know like what this c underscore str means i'll tell you and just to uh, help, I have given all these outputs also here so that it will be very easy for you guys. And we have this substring meaning from sixth character in given string, give me five characters. So this is what substring does. And you can directly get access to particular character also. Yeah. And then we have this equal to operator, both, I mean, the, the strings are equal or not. And we have move. I know I have not included move video in my channel and everyone is asking this i'll definitely plan this so yeah these are the functionality so let's look at the actual code so first we'll see okay let me just start with the beginning itself so my string this is not a template class because we don't need any other data structure to be stored in this this is going to be specific to the strings only so that's why it is going to store character pointer i mean this is this this will store an array of characters so the default constructor would be like this i could have just simply uh, initialized uh, null to this data and that also would have worked like this is so th this is this is something you can change also next is actual constructor where you will pass the character so this is very simple you will just create a dynamic array new character str length of your string what you are passing so let's suppose you are passing let's say uh, hello here like this you are passing so hello is like five characters then in that case five plus one because we have to store null also in the end so that's how you will end up creating like six character array and as we can use str copy we don't have to give this std here okay so you can just simply say str copy this data into this data first you try to write this okay and if they tell you no i don't want i i want you to explicitly write that loop and do the copy character by character then go ahead write that loop and this is the copy constructor you know how copy constructor work right it will take the original string of the object so it, it it is going to look something like this but this time we have object with us and the rest is like same and move constructor move is little different you're not copying you're moving so the copy is not involved the the entire object i mean entire pointer will get moved from here to there so that's what we are doing here other dot data so this is that array right we we have this array we're just simply saying that initializing this data into this one this data is holding one address from there the entire string is starting that starting address being copied into new data i mean newly created objects data and old data is being initialized to null pointer so that's how you have successfully moved from here to here okay i think it's clear and yeah for move constructor you have to use this double address sign and this is uh, going to be very interesting part uh, this copy assignment operator i have implemented it using copy and swap edm so if you are new to this copy and swap edm you should check out my video where i have explained the need of this so this is the new way of writing this and this is best okay so we'll move oh yeah in order to understand this you have to watch that video i'll give you the link in the description and if i forget please comment i'll definitely give them and this is going to be the move assignment. So this was copy and this is going to be move. So move is not equal to like, uh, I mean, we cannot use copy and swap EDM here. So this has to go with the process. Like we are not moving to ourselves. In that case, yeah, we'll delete current data. 
I am doing A is equal to B, then this A's data is getting, getting deleted. And then I am pointing B's data to, to A's data and I will just flush out B's data. That's how it, B is moved to A, right? Yeah. And then this is very important. We have to return my strings reference. If you will not do this, then in that case, temporary object will get created and your object, I mean, the, the actual object is modified, but uh, some fun some functions like uh, function chaining and all that will not work. So this is the best practice to write move assignment operator. And destructor is very clean that you have to just delete the array. And this is string concatenation. This is not a big deal. It just look big. So concatenation meaning you are concatenating A plus B meaning this. I'll show you the example here. So we have A which is having hello and B is world with one extra space in the beginning then a plus b should return hello world let me uh, run this okay so this is the output hello world so this is how the concatenated string should look like right so that's how it is going to look something like this you will have uh, a and b's total uh, length plus one so this is your total length and then plus one is here you will create new data just simply do the str copy of first one and then you will do str cat so if you are using this function and they are telling, no, 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 you're not allowed to use this function, then you have to write your own while loop to iterate over and do these things manually. And if this is done, then till now we have this new data array available. We have not constructed the object yet. Now you will construct the object. So this object is constructed using this new data. Now you can use this new data. I mean, you can delete this new data and just return the result as value okay because this string is constructed here in this scope if you will return the address or reference of this then the receiving end will not have anything because this is deleted now because when you are going away from this function the scope is gone for this local variable of this scope and it will end up getting deleted that's why you have to return this using value. So new object will get constructed and will be returned to the receiver. In that case, that object will have the scope of the receiving end scope, which is this C. Okay. And there are like so many things happens in the background. Uh, RVO or uh, NRVO, if you have heard like return value optimization, non-return value optimization. So all those get kick in. So don't think that, okay, um, we are wasting so much of, uh, or I should say we are copying uh, so many unnecessary things. No, computer is, I mean, C++ compiler is very uh, good to understand this. So what happens, even if you write all these things, it will still create the memory. What it was supposed to create here, that memory will get constructed here itself. So it's very intelligent. So yeah, I'll not, I'll not get diverted from uh, this topic so yeah this is how it is going to be and these are like very simple function one line functions uh i'll scroll scroll through just go through these things and yeah the the length is going to be strlen if they are not happy you know what to do just loop over this data till you find null and then return that integer that's the goal and see str if you have worked on std string class then you know that okay c underscore str is the function which returns you the underlying character array so it's a c style array this that is going to be our data so that's what you will get here and sub string is also very simple i don't have to explain you this let me tell you what sub string means so c dot sub string meaning c is one string i want to get the sub string of this from six i want five character so in that case world would be the answer so yeah that's it let me take you to this now and we have already run this and we have seen almost everything right let me show you the equal to where that go yeah here it is so comparison operator is also there right here which is like c is equal to equal to d in that case it gets true so what is c here let's see so your c is actually concatenated result of a and b and d is obviously hello world in that case both are equal that's why you're getting true here let me just make one extra space here and say hello world i don't know cpp nuts in that case if i'll compile this 
obviously it is not going to work and let me run this so it will tell you false here this time okay so i think we're done here thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care